There seems to be a lot of clients out there that are upset they can't find a fifth wheel toy hauler under 33 feet, less than 11,000 pounds, fits their four seat side by side, and that their spouse will be happy with. Well, this Ragin' Toy Hauler I'm about to show you may be the best solution on the market today. Welcome to HBRV Lifestyle. They call me the Honey Badger because I give it to you straight about the RV business. And stick around because at the end, I've got a little surprise for you. This is the 2024 Genesis Supreme Ragin' 2814 RIKS. And try saying that three times fast. Took me four takes to say that right. 5,500 watt generator. Uh, it's got two air conditioners. We're gonna do this kind of acapella, so there isn't gonna be a lot of editing. So you're gonna wanna pay attention to the whole video, otherwise you might miss something. Look at this huge storage area, inverter. And by the way, if you like this non-editing style, let me know in the comments section, especially if you've seen a couple of them so far. So you got a 10 gallon hot water heater that's propane only. And then you have an outside shower. You have a black tank flush. Again, this is 32 feet, seven inches in total length, weighs 10,900 pounds dry. 14,000 pounds is the gross vehicle capacity. So if you got an older three quarter ton truck, this would be a really nice size, really nice weight and you won't feel like you're like chugging up the hill really hard. So you're gonna feel really comfortable towing this. Now remember, when you're hooked up to the fifth wheel, this is what's interesting that people miss out on. Miss out on. When you are hooked up to the pin into your truck, you're really only towing about 29, maybe 28 feet. So the propane bottles are up front. You saw the pass through storage. The battery compartment's very different. They actually put it here. Now that's something that Genesis has done across their lineup of fifth wheel toy haulers for a while now. If you haven't figured out, I am probably their biggest fan. I'm probably the biggest fan of the owner Pablo, his crew, and the way they build a toy hauler. This reminds me a lot of the older attitudes, the older weekend warriors before they turned a you-know-what. Great little floor plan. Cargo is going to be 14 feet from the ramp door to the counter. And then the width, when the slide comes in, is going to be 72 inches. Plus, you also have the trap door. Now, if you saw a previous video I did on a sandstorm fitting a side-by-side, uh, -side, it was a 73-inch wide Razor 1000. It fit in the trap door really nicely, left about a two-inch gap between the fascia and the body. So that was really cool. Then you got your booth dinette. That turns into a full-size bed. That'll sleep two people. You got your queen size bunk bed that comes up and down electrically on the Happy Jack system. That'll sleep two people. Uh, capacity usually is about 300, 350 pounds. You got a big screen TV, radio, DVD player. As I mentioned earlier, solar and inverter. And then you have your recliners. So I'm just gonna open up a few of the cabinets, not like my old school videos where I used to cut in and out. That's pretty decent storage there. And pardon the sniffles, guys. It's been a rough month of allergies here in November. And then you have plenty of wide and deep cabinets above the couch, which also turns into a bed. That'll sleep one, maybe two people. This is what's kind of interesting. This is actually your pantry area, or what I call your pantry area. So this is for like your canned goods, your cereals, uh, your boxed goods, basically all of your dry goods. And then we all know what I think this is. <laughs> Margarita and Bloody Mary time. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Oh my God. Uh, propane electric refrigerator. If you haven't figured out by now or you haven't been a fan of the channel very long, this is my favorite uh, refrigerator in a toy hauler. Now, I don't mind 12 volt and I don't mind residentials or full electrics 
inside regular campers, especially if I know that you're not going to do a lot of dry camping. You might do it for a day or two, um, but a toy hauler, I still to this day really believe strongly, in my opinion, that the propane electric refrigerator is still the best idea, even though it does not have the capacity, the 12 volt. And that's because they're not as deep. And then you also kind of lose part of a shelf because of the cooling unit back here. But still, to me, 200%, the best fridge in the industry is the propane electric. Now, what I like about these guys compared to most of them, like XLR, Momentum, um, just, just a bunch of them up and down, is standard, standard, standard. Ragin puts in the bigger microwave, and if, as you can see, it is convection, and then, you know, you get the bigger oven. Now, it's not like super huge or anything, but it is big enough for like a small little chicken, maybe a good-sized pizza, and then you got plenty of drawers, man. This is just so important. You got to have a kitchen, I'm, I'm telling you. If you have a spouse that loves to cook, or if you personally like to cook, you got to have some drawers. You got to have uh, some decent cabinet space. You got to have good counter space. These are highly important. And then now this year, they've gone to the one piece sink standard. A lot of that has to do with the actual access to them now. And then let's go above the microwave. This is where you're going to need a step stool, pots, pans, things of that nature. Maybe some bowls plates that's pretty decent now if you look i've actually filmed something similar to this i filmed the 3016 rik's which has 16 feet of cargo but it's also 37 feet in total length so this is about four and a half five feet shorter the bathroom's really decent same bathroom layout in like 99 percent of toy haulers including the linen closet and the shower for one and I make a joke about that because, guys, I've lived in a fifth wheel with two daughters and a wife. Hot water doesn't really last that long. It's better if you have the two daughters shower together, right? Especially when they're five and six, seven years old. Good closet space for clothes. Storage above the bed. You got a king-size bed. This is an RV king. Got charging station on each side. Good hangable space in your closet area got to be excited about this stuff man i mean i'm just i am i don't i don't know how to say it outside of this is how passionate i used to be about attitude toy haulers years ago when i was at giant rv we carried attitude and we were one of the more exclusive dealers that had attitude and back in the day man that was the best toy hauler for the money now they're overpriced piles of absolute monkey crap. As The Rock would say, attitude toy haulers are a bunch of jabronis now, unfortunately. And it's sad because it was once one of the best products made. Nobody could compete with it. And they always built their uh, toy haulers around the side-by-side. -side. Okay, now... Here's the surprise. If you look in the top right-hand corner of this video, I actually put a video up there for you that is about to show you how the razor fits with that slide. It's a similar slide in the sandstorm, same depth, same length. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. Remember, RV stands for toolkit and sense of humor.